Hello and welcome to Flutats. I have been watching Twitch for a long time and one thing I love about it is the chat interaction especially with the add-on BTTV emotes. The fact that these guys come up with an idea where there is animated emotes, especially those one holding signs, it just makes the, the chat interaction feels alive if that makes any sense. So for that I took a class by Claudio Salas called Animating with Purpose, which is the perfect course for this kind of stuff. Where, the, where he goes and break down more on the story behind the character and understanding the purpose for that character and how to apply emotions to it before you even start animating. More on that later on the video. So I came up with this character that I designed on Illustrator and imported into After Effects, but first this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that offers thousands of classes from design to animation to 3D modeling and other stuff like marketing, business stuff. You can watch and learn and search classes based on your skill level that are made by professional teachers that are on the industry. And one of the courses I learned a lot from and helped me on my workflow are Flag Animation by Laurentine Lurnik and Digital Character Illustration by Justina Stasek. And the good thing about Skillshare is that you pay less than $10 a month with annual subscription and you don't just get one class, but instead you get the whole library of classes on the platform. That is always expanding with more professional teaching teachers coming to the platform and teach their skills. And for the first 1000 viewers who sign up gets the free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, claim yours before it's gone. Now let's go back to our video. Before we start animating, let's rig our character so it's easier for us to animate later on. Let's first start by selecting the arms, go to the arms here, left arm and right arm, and create, go to the path first, right here, you find it under group. Let's first drag these outside of the group. Let's select our paths and go to window and create nulls from paths. Then go to create points that follow nulls. What it does, it just create nulls, but we can control these points right here on the arm using these nulls instead of animating the path itself which is way easier. Let's first scale these nulls down so it's easier to see and manage. Let's make them 25. Yeah, that's better. Now let's create a null object. This one will be controlling the top and bottom nulls we just created, like here. Except the middle ones, because for these we're gonna create another two null objects that will drive these nulls one for the left and one for the right. Let's do that. First, let's create a null. This one, we're gonna put this on the middle. And we're gonna parent all these nulls to it. Except for the middle ones, don't select the middle ones. Let's parent them to the null. So now we have this. Now let's parent the arm and fingers to it too. Gonna and also parent the sign and the text to the null. So it all moves at once. We're gonna also parent the line of the head and the mouth to the head and then parent the head to the null so everything moves smoothly together don't worry about this view because this character will not move right to left we are only gonna be animating this up and down now let's create another two null objects let's call this left arm points and this right arm controls point. Then we're gonna scale this to 25. Now we're gonna control the middle ones that we left 
this one to the right, left, this one to the right. Now we're gonna th that we have our rig already set up. So we can animate. Let's just test it out. Move this down. And this gonna be moving right and left. Everything works fine. Now let's start animating. And for that we are only gonna animate the nulls that we set up. So we can only use this instead of animating each layer by itself. Make sure to use this method to avoid the repeated animating process. So you don't have to do an animation multiple times. Instead we're gonna just focus on the nulls. And for this we're gonna animate the position. Let's add the keyframe. Go 5 frames later and add the keyframe. And go to the end and add another keyframe. For the big null here that controls everything from the arms and everything, we're gonna drag this down a bit. Let's first, uh, I forget to parent these things. Let's drag this down. And for these nulls, we're gonna go for one, two, three. To the left and one two three to the right as you can see we are already having a close animation let's just select all keyframes and right click go to keyframe assistant and easy is that will make the animation more smoother but to make it a better animation let's go to the graph editor and drag these points to the right and the left so you have a build up animation then it goes to the top the peak as we say in animation then it goes down then it goes back to the peak and goes down so you build up momentum to the animation as you can see now it's smaller and to add more characteristic to the animation let's select our head and select rotation and add a keyframe on the same spots we did before and we can rotate the head when it drops down to like 25 maybe maybe 15 it's enough that's easy is this and do the same thing for the graph editor so we have more speed at the start then it goes down I think 15 is a lot. Let's make this 8 or 7.5. Yeah, that that looks much better. You can also customize this if you want to. Let's maybe select this. Let's delete the sign and the text. You can go ahead and like duplicate these fingers or leave them as it is or maybe make this like a rock rock and roll let's do that for now let's duplicate this finger let's put this right here since we rigged everything together now we don't have to worry about anything it's all will sync together and that's it for this uh, tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to check the link below so you can get uh, the free subscription of Skillshare. So you can get the Skillshare classes that I already mentioned for free. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.